All right, folks. I don't know if this shit's going to work. It's not going to work. I'm in my car right now. I don't know what's going on here. Got a message. Something happened about my uh, Twitter handle being the Twitter handle. It's showing up on the website. I just showed up. I'm in my car, so I, I, I don't know if you can even hear this. What I wish you would do, Andrea especially, and anybody else, if you want to try to get in touch with me, forget about this instant messenger bullshit. Use a text message. Call me for my my phone number. Better off because getting these instant messages off of Facebook, it seems like they're hacking into accounts left and right. And I don't know what's going on half the times with that nonsense. So to maybe to avoid... The problem that it seems to be having over at the website, where for some reason my name comes up more times than not when somebody else is doing a podcast. Now, again, I don't know why that happens. There's got to be a reason. Somebody's hacking into the account. I'm not doing nothing. I haven't done a, a podcast in a while on my own. Anything that has to do with the fantasy gangsters, Lou does everything. So if there's any difference in how we put out our podcast, Lou knows what he's doing. So we never have a problem with the fantasy gangsters. This is Cha Cha for Section 8 at Lenny Manlick's Fantasy Sports Network, folks. Uh, Again, I am in my car doing this. Now, if anybody's in the chat room right now, I got, I'm, at a, I'm at a red light, so if you can uh, tell me. Easy kill, you're in the chat room right now. Am I live? Can you hear me? Am I busted into somebody's show? I don't even know what's going on here. All I know is just got a instant message from Andrea. She mentioned that um, the Twitter handle, I almost hit this fucking asshole on a bike. These motherfuckers. I guess we'll have to press the explicit. Remember, I'm driving, folks, so this has to be an explicit podcast, without a doubt. I'm driving from the Bronx back to Yonkers. just left my sister's house after a day. The usual traffic bullshit here in the fucking boogie down Bronx. I mean, the traffic here just got so out of control, and they want to make these lanes. This is a two-lane street. Actually, it's two lanes going both ways, but they're considering making these one lanes so these asshole bikers that you get you know one biker here one biker there so they can have their own lane you know i've thought that the the, these roads were for cars you know now the guys that are driving now this guy's double parked in front of me of course so of course i can't get through so there's more time on podcast yeah go ahead double park nobody cares i'm only driving here folks yeah no you can double park yeah oh no go right ahead sir no, feel free. You're double parked. I'm in your way. I, I apologize. Got the bird, folks. I just got the bird. I just got the bird. Anyway, this is the way it goes here. If you don't get the bird at least once or twice a day thrown at you, you don't feel normal here in the Bronx. I'm actually at Boston Post Road. If you guys are uh, familiar with the Bronx and Bronx Park East. So I'm at the crossroads here, folks, with a Bronx Zoo. Literally... It's only about a, not even a half a mile from here. If I made a left turn, I'd be right into the Bronx Zoo. Wednesdays over here in the Bronx, believe it or not, you can go to the Bronx Zoo for absolutely nothing. It's free. And, uh, which is very rare. Anything here is free. But on those free days, of course, you don't want to be driving over here because everybody and their mother comes here for nothing. Now, as I head, hopefully, Towards the uh, Bronx River Parkway, which is, which is, if you're familiar with this area, I'm trying to hit, oh, here we go. I'm trying to hit Bronx River Parkway. I wish I had this, uh, I wish I had this on video so you guys can understand and see the traffic (laughs) that I'm heading into. Now, I usually don't leave this late for my sister's house because, sincerely, the traffic here is so bad normally that, uh, you know, it takes me 20 minutes to get home normally. Now, this guy just beat me. I mean, I got the right away here, my man. This guy's going to make cut. Yeah, what do you want me to do? Go through him? Keep beeping. I, mean, I got it. What do you want me to do? Want to go through the guy? Yeah, you can beep all you want. They're going to get me to go through this guy. It's kind of hard. This fucking guy. Real moron. 
Thank you, you jackass. Holy shit. This is unbelievable. This is what you got to go through every time you got to come down to the Bronx. I want to get out of here so bad. I don't give a flying fuck if I got to get out of here to move the fuck out of here. I'm telling you, I want to get out of here in the worst way. I thought, tell you, got a little taste of Arizona. I'm going to South Carolina soon to check out South Carolina. Beach Bum, wherever you are, I told you. I'm on my way, buddy. End of June, I called you up the other day. I left you a message. If you're out there, I'm ready to come and visit you. And I'm ready to, uh, to check it out. Hey, what's up there, Kevin? Thank you. Thank you, Kevin. You're the only guy that's... The only guy in the fucking chat room that even acknowledged me that I'm killing myself here doing a podcast. Bumper to bumper traffic in the Bronx. Least one of you jack fucking holes could say is I hear you. You fucker. Easy kill. I thought he, you know, he's too busy playing with fucking Chris Allen to give me a friggin' heads up. Thanks, Kevin. Appreciate it. But as we go on our trails here, folks, if you're not familiar with the Boogie Down Bronx, I'll be getting on the Bronx River Parkway. This has never been done before on Lenny Mellick's Fantasy Sports Network, folks. A live broadcast in my vehicle as I get towards, I'm going north, north, folks, from the Bronx. Allerton Avenue, next stop. That's the next exit. I guarantee you I will be not getting off Allerton Avenue. If anybody's familiar with the Bronx, Allerton Avenue... What is it known for? Well, I can tell you one thing. White Castle, my friends. The White Castle hamburger has always been a White Castle on Allerton Avenue, right off of Allerton Avenue. That's the most, eh, probably the most popular uh, White Castle you'll ever friggin' meet. Originally, when I was a child, that's right, folks, I was a child once, believe it or not. I would go to White Castle with my uh, family and uh, friends, and that time... Come on, buddy. Get on. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, we got a car. Let's get these guys. I'm a, I'm a nice driver. I let people on the highways and shit. Not like other people. Pricks that they are. I never let anybody in. I'm not your typical New Yorker. Oh, here we go. We got a little traffic. Hey, cops stopped a couple of people. What else is new here? Going from the Bronx. Probably pulled out. They pulled over two or three guys. What else is new? Yep, probably another drug bust. That's the usual. What can I tell you? It's nothing out of the ordinary here for me, folks. I'm used to this shit. Driving up the Bronx River, folks, just to let you know. Now, this was a three-lane highway for about, oh, 100 years, folks. I've been bitching and complaining my whole life to make another exit for this one lane. And God, there is a God, folks. Gun Hill Road exit coming up. They finally made the exit just for Gun Hill Road. That's it. So now those suckers are bumper to bumper to get off that Gun Hill Road exit. And believe me, folks... I'm tooling along here in the middle lane for the first time in my life at four. What the hell time is it? Four something. Holy crap. I'm actually moving in my car. Thank you, Jay. Thank you. Fucking mayor of New York City. The governor, you gave us a new exit and now we are driving freely. I can't believe this. This is the first time, folks, in the middle of the week. Traffic. I'm moving. That's my wheels you're hearing, folks. You usually don't hear them on this Bronx River Parkway. But today, ladies and gentlemen, if I don't drive into a tree, I might get home before 5 o'clock. Unbelievable, folks. 50 miles an hour is the speed limit here. Nobody figures on doing that. Uh, my vehicle is only going to go about 53 to 55. I'm in no hurry. I'm doing a podcast. What the frick do I care? It's 428 here. Oh, here comes a guy right between two cars. Here he comes right through us. Hear him? He's on a motorcycle. You stupid son of a fucking bitch. Right between me. We needed a video for that. Look at that stupid son of a bitch. He moved in to my car and a taxi cab right next to me to split the uprights. I should have split his uprights, that son of a bitch. This is, this is driving in New York City, folks. You're not going to find this anywhere else. I don't think so. Motorcycle driver cut me off. I mean, I'm telling you, he couldn't have got any more close to me and the taxi driver next to me. On a highway doing 55 miles an hour each. That is. I love it. I love this. Love New York. Goodbye, New York. Boy, beach bum. Where well, open the door for me, buddy boy. Have an iced tea ready. Oh, here we go. Getting off the exit. The usual assholes. Nobody knows how to get off. Oh, I thought I was going to get... Here's how you drive here in New York City. I'm in the... I'm, I'm, in, the, I'm in the... I'm in the left lane, but I got to get off the... I got to get off the exit, so guess what? Just like in Arizona. 
Nobody signals. Oh, by the way, there goes my exit. Oh, really? No shit. Yeah. So you're gonna cut three lanes over, you fucking asshole, to get into front and get in front of me. You stupid bastard. Look at these idiots. Unbelievable. This is all just to get home.